Hello, this is Peter Kunz. I will be your guide in the following two hours on our hands-on workshop, where we will show, discuss, and try live the latest addition to the HCL Digital Solutions family, which is extension to the Notes and Domino platform, HCL Domino Vault. I am Peter Kunz. I work at HCL Digital Solutions as a technical specialist. Uh, as I said, the the session will be will be interactive. Will be will be focused on showing you live how H, how HCL Domino Vault works. So there will be a few steps that I would like to do if you want to follow the procedure of creating application themselves yourselves so if you want to just watch me how i create a new application in domino vault just sit and watch if you want to do these steps yourself please first uh, send us a note in in a uh, conference chat in telegram or, or some other way in, in Telegram chat, please. So, so we know that there are people who will follow the, the labs together with me. If you just want to stay and watch, you do not need to write anything. So for those who want to follow the steps with me and start developing applications today, this afternoon, please do two things. First, open this open this uh, url start dot my hcl sandbox com i can make it i think i can make it bigger so you can see it in more zoom it will open this application this this web page this is web page with hcl sandbox sandbox like playground where you can create your own demo accounts and uh, play with products so far there is domino vault and same time today this afternoon we will we will work with the domino vault so once you open this start my hcl sandbox.com first click on register and for an account on the left side of the page if i click on it so in first name last name password please write down or or remember the password because this is the password that you will that you will be using for logging to the environment and then select if you are a customer or business partner that's for our, our statistics so we know which type of people using this environment and we can we can make enhancement according to these statistics it should take a minute or two and after you submit this form you will receive this email this is what i tested on wednesday two days ago so so i got the the latest info so i I see the, the exactly what you will see today. You will receive this email to a email address that you filled in into the form. If you do not receive within three, four, five minutes, please check also spam folder, junk mail folder. Maybe some rules will mark it as spam because it is in english it 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 is from generic address and so on so please check also spam folder and there is a link you will click on this link and copy paste these eight characters this password this code into the web page once you do this you will you your id will be created your id will be created and then you can log in just small hint use as login first name last name what you put into the form so if it is like john smith use john smith as a login and not 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 email and password is from your from your form 
So this is first name, last name and password. This is what you will use for logging into this environment. If you do not plan to test the, the steps right now at this session, but you plan to do this, next week or or anytime in the future you still can this environment will be will be there uh, for a long time we do not plan to to stop it so this digital solutions playbox you can play with it not only today but also in the in the following weeks and month you can create as many accounts as you want so you can create account for yourself your colleagues can create accounts as well and you can you can test creating applications together on this digital solutions playground so this is first step uh, during our speech i i guess you are you are already creating this uh, this demo account and on the another and that is another url call up click slash vault tutorial i don't know, know maybe maybe the the moderators could copy paste these these urls into telegram chat so 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 you do not need to to uh rewrite it from from the screen uh to copy this one and this one May, maybe uh, those moderators who has access to telegram can can copy and paste it and if you click if you open this second this second url you will get to this small shared folder content in this folder is what we will use for today's tutorial there are there are four pieces i put in comments there are there are four elements the pdf file is the master one is the main main file in this folder it is pdf tutorial it contains step by step what we will do in create during creating a, a application then there is excel file xls excel file which we will use once only once and this will be our initial source of data this will simulate existing data that that you have within company and you want to migrate or import them into vault application and as a example of you know changing look and feel using custom design custom fonts i i put there also a custom fonts gotham and you can use it to overwrite default look and field of the vault application so we will use these three today and in backups let me switch to real in backups i created and put into this folder all milestones after every two or three pages you can see the pdf pdf has 34 pages it's too long don't be don't 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 worry don't be afraid we will not go in the following hour and half hour and 45 minutes everything every pages we will finish probably somewhere in the middle and then you can continue with the remaining of the pages after the session is done next week or anytime in the future so and after every two or three pages i created a export and export of the application so if you for example are stuck at page 18 if you were stuck in problems to implement notifications on, on page 18 you can simply you can simply download page 19 import and continue with instructions after page 19. so this is like backup if you if everything will work for you you will not need backup but you will need these three three uh, data sources so if you plan if you plan to do the steps with me please 
send some message just yes or da or plus sign into the into the um, telegram chat for for this conference please so let me start let me start with the uh, with the live demonstration this is the first page of of the tutorial that that i will follow and the goal of the application and today's scenario is to create a web application where internal people internal employees can sign can uh, register for internal education courses we have let me show you in excel if 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 you open the excel that that is in this shared folder course catalog it contains the list of all all internal courses that we have in our organization there are co there are courses like security new hire training also product and development uh, re uh, related courses and trainings each training has some has some attributes date time cost in money uh, place speaker instructor uh, and some description and maximum capacity of of the course so this these are our source data we want to import this data or start with this data import them into application somehow and then let each employee to register for for the course for example for the security training moreover the registration is not automatically done completed it goes first to my manager to my first line manager manager c okay petra wants to visit security training at this day in chicago uh, and it's up to manager whether manager will approve or deny this this requirement and this is what we will do in this in in the application so let me start if i go to the initial web page the, the link from the first slide and if you follow and re register for an account you probably have your account working as well so click on vault sandbox you will be asked for first name last name and password i already did that and you will start with vault management page this is starting page for anybody who is creating applications in in domino vault in your case you will see only the first part the upper part the lower part is is in my account because i already played with this platform and created some applications in advance in in previous days and weeks so uh, i said we will we will start and we will not start from scratch if you start there is a big button for starting application you will not start from scratch but you can also start from from spreadsheet from Excel. If I would click this one, it will be like, like creating a fresh new document in, in Microsoft Word with no content in it. If I start with this, I already import some existing data into it. And this is exactly what, what we want to do because we have a list of courses, list, list of trainings. So I will select this option, click Next and the import wizard will guide me okay choose your excel file it is this one and now and now the world analyzed world analyzed the content of the sheet so you can see the headers title date time cost location is imported and is 
is recognized in this new world application. If I want, if I want, I can change, for example, if date is incorrectly marked as date, I can change it to, to single line, multi line number entry or anything, but I will keep it. It's okay. Vault, Vault did a good job. So no, nothing. Course catalog. Okay, great. Next, next. That's all I have to do. This is very easy. Anybody can can do this. This step. importing Excel with no coding, no no developing, no no developing experience, no programming language knowledge or something like this. And it is in here. Course catalog. This one. Last update today. And if I click view data, if I click view data, you will see, I will see as well the all the rows from Excel. Let me let me show you the Excel. And the content of Excel is now imported into the Vault database, into the Vault application including the description multi-line entry with multiple text url links numbers dates everything uh, cost is uh, cor correctly recognized as price this is correctly recognized as time and date if you want you can click on customize on the left side and modify this view screen with this view form in the right pane and if i now there is another right pane on the side of the screen and if i click on a row details fields in details are display on the right side so for in 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 some cases this could be even good enough to transfer excel spreadsheet into a simple web application and we all we did is just import excel and click yes 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 okay but this is not where we will stop this is just a first first part this is beginning this is how we import in so source data into world application now we have to create the registration form uh, please did did someone uh, from moderators check if there are people who are who are doing these steps or or we are just watching what what i do okay so so far i i will follow without without special special breaks i am closing this view back into the home page and now instead of view data i click on edit edit yes i know i am modifying the application this is intentional and that's it this is our application in edit mode this is how people who assemble who develop the application in Vault, in in, in Vault, uh, see as they as as they um, workbench on the left side there is a set of widgets or modules or some or some parts of the form that you will drag and drop into the form in the middle in the middle there is a main main part uh, you will create and assemble web application web form in the middle part and on the right side there are some some helping there are some helping information some helpers like uh, structure of the pages or you will hide and show some elements based based on some rules or something like this main main part is the left one and the middle one what we are seeing right now is the form that we imported this is the form that, that we show for courses for list of courses but we we will not touch this we can keep it as it is and we will create a new one 
So on the right side, I am create. I am clicking on plus this was plus and new new form is created i will name it i'm checking it with with the pdf just to show you what we did what, what i follow on the on the remaining screen is is this one you can see click plus name request rename to catalog Da, da, da. This is what I do right now and what you can do yourself either today or you can do it later next week whenever you want. So you, you, you can really see that I follow exactly the steps described in PDF so, so you can do this as well. And instructions says rename this to request because this is the name of the form and sheet should be named it it is catalog so let's name it let's name it catalog and request is more important catalog is just data source and and this is a request request is what what we will work the most so i just drag and drop request to be first to be top and catalog at the bottom now let me check how how it look like the the uh, properties if you click on any this cogwheel you know this icon for settings icons for settings it will show you properties for the specific element in this case if i click for page i've got properties for the page you can change you can change you know the width in pixels of the page you can say min minimum maximum width you can create pages for for mobile resolution for widescreen anything just modifying these these numbers i will not i will not touch anything just just i i let you know and let let us start uh, building this new registration form let's start with image at the top i will put image so i drag and drop from the left side image keeping drag and drop and let it go and it instantly show give me properties of the image you want to you want to put image i i want to know more there is no one because this is fresh application so i open this url instruction says use this url and put it put it into this field this one okay and height should be 30 pixels i think okay done that's it so we have first static element Another one is title. I will not choose image. Now I will choose text, drag and drop. And name of the application, name of the form is training request app. I can change core size. Let me just simply mark it as header one, top header, and that's it. I've got it now some uh, some horizontal rule so we know this is header and the remaining will be for filling it it is a line uh, visually you can see there is no place where to put because both rows are now occupied but if you simply simply choose the mouse, mouse position where you want to place the line it will create a new a new entry for you even if there is no no a row in the table created before and now i go to the lower right corner and extend expand through expand the length through the through the two cells and since this is 800 let's let's move this to the middle like 400 pixels you can see what helps me to show to show the now now i'm in the middle okay so I'm done. If I click save, 
and preview on the right side there is save click on save from time to time so you 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 are sure that in case of some you know uh, uh, this uh, network disconnection or something like this your work is safe and next to safe is preview if i click on preview it will show me how the final page will look like so you know it's pretty pretty similar what we what we saw in in edit mode and this this is how end users will see the result so far so good let's continue with some with some fields for entering data where people could enter data into these fields so first it would be single line entry just drag and drop and click on title click on title and rename it to it is name so just name then i need this is name of me of person who is asking for training who is sending the request then i need to put my manager name name and manager name are of the same time and and same type so i can i can click clone duplicate this one done manager name fields are short so let me click on cogwheel and say no i do not want medium size i want full i want full size so it is spread across the whole cell length this one much better and then i need to put email of me of the requester and also my manager name my, my manager mail email email this one drag and drop email full and clone and this will be no email but manager email Done. now i need to choose the course as I said, we have list of courses, this one, security training, Domino, JavaScript, new hire. And I do, I do want people to select this from some drop down menu or list or table. I do not want them to, to type, I want new hire orientation. So I select something from multi input value and it could be drop down. So I select drop down and drop down element will allow you to choose from multiple choices. In this case, option one, option two. This is by default. And if I click preview, this is option one, option two. But instead of option one or option two, I want to fill it, populate, populate the drop down with the data that are in excel and if you recall 10 minutes ago we imported this excel into we imported excel into this world application and it is stored in this catalog in this catalog form so now i will do first let's say complex or some <laughs> let's say magic thing that will put some interactivity and some enhancement into a common form so i click on this cogwheel an option click on edit and i will not enter manually uh, names of the options in here instead of this i select choose a service service is a important is an important component in domino vault application almost everything that is that is related to import export data manipulation searching looking retrieving saving modifying is service 
you can if you are a domino developer you can think that service is some some simple agent written in lotus script or lotus formula that do some data manipulation over over elements over over the documents saved in in the in the application so i say i if i need to fill in fill it fill it the the options right now in in real life i choose service and there is none this is fresh application there is no service so i will create i will click on this link and create the service and the same way as we created new application there was if you if you recall there was a wizard first select excel then modify fields if necessary save finish okay done same way is for services there is a wizard four steps wizard that will guide me and guide you to to uh, complete to configure service uh, easily without any special development knowledge so first i have to set which type of service i want and in this case it is accessing data from existing vault application this is in the same application the list of courses so i will select this one in your cases for your next experiments if you are domino customer you will very likely try select from domino database and it will allow you to to read and in next version also write read write modify data in domino applications in, in domino applications so that you would not need to as in this case take excel and import into world but it could be like this application these documents are stored in some existing nsf database in domino and we will just read it we are we are this this service but as i said right now we are choosing read it from current application in vault and let me show display on this one and this is list of all services of all elements or api endpoints that we can use this is what vault what domino vault created for me I didn't touch anything. I didn't prepare this in advance. But once we uploaded some documents into the Domino Vault application, it automatically created API for for CRUD. The developers know knows it as CRUD, C R U D, for create, read, update, and delete. So everything is, is in here. And in this case, I said, I want to read all documents from catalog. So I will start with catalog. There are five options and I want to read and read everything means search for everything. So, so it will be search. So I click on search next. On the second page, I can specify filters, maybe some formulas. For example, search only courses that are in Chicago, for example. But but not, not in this case. In this case, I want everything. So I will just skip it, go to go to step three. And in step three, I specify what I want to read from the source on the left side and into which fields on the right side I want to save it or store it. So and so this is for the first time when you do this for the first time, this is this could be complex if, if once you start doing this for the third, fourth time, it, it will be pretty, pretty natural. So on the left side, 
I've got fields from the from the Excel, the columns, column names, this one. And on on the on the right side is what's in my form. You can see page one, and those are the fields that are added in here. And drop down is the element that I want to fill. And into drop down, if I if I unveil the, the content, there is saved value and display value. Saved is what is saved in, in database and display is what people will see. So for example, uh, I can display, I can display this one, new hire orientation, but internally it will be coded as two, as number two, and there will be some, some translation that number two means new hire orientation. So I need to fill these two, two fields. In display value, I will store name of the course, which is title. So, and pairing, wiring together is done by selecting the left side and right side fields field on the left side, on the right side, and click on the icon in the middle, which looks like, like wire. So now I created a wire. If I did it wrong, I can just simply click on X and do wiring again, title, display. And save value, I will store, I could store title as well in, in save value, but, but it's better to, it's better to use some 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 number, some unique unique number. In this case, I will use unified number in internal internal unique identifier. Select select done. So value. Let me show the PDF. If you slowly follow it with me, or you will do in the future i am right in this you can see i follow the service the service creation wizard and now i am on this page i paired two two fields from the source to the destination and let's try if i did it correctly if i didn't miss anything save 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 preview And if it is correctly, this one is populated. Done. We did a good job. We didn't miss anything. So I can see the list of courses which are populated right within this second. It is not stored or cache or exported and imported somewhere. Once I do refresh at this very second, it is it is fetched and populated from the source of information. So this is good, it, it, it is working. Save, let's save this and continue. Continue with creating the form. And first let me drop down is, is a generic name. I will rename it to select a course. This is the, this is the name of, of this field. Now, yeah, now it is, let's move the next instruction is let's play a little bit with styling. So let's stop with creating the application, adding fields for now for five minutes. And uh, let me uh, do some sidestep and let's play with visualization with look and feel. So, as I said, first instruction is to use a generic, a generic font. And uh, this is done by clicking settings. If you click on settings, so far we were in forms. So if you click in settings and on the left side, files. So far, we have one file. You can you can say it's it's image, and you can say, hey, we did not 
import upload any image but this image is what we used what we used for for this when we fed when when we specify url so for the first time vault says okay i will not go to this remote url address every time the page is loaded for the first time i will store it and then i will use a reference only to this local image so so this is for from the first step when we created the image element now let's add upload the file and just simply this one Woof. okay okay now now it is uploaded and vault recognize that this is font and vault knows that fonts are used in look and feel specification and it is done in styles so if you click on style right now clicking on style you will see that this is pretty much exactly what we see in in preview this is default style called flat blue buttons some sections tabs you know radio buttons it's it's specified in css and if we want to slightly modify the, this default theme default theme we click on customize and as i said domino vault is also for people who have who has no development skills or some knowledge of of programming language it counts also for knowledge regarding css cascading style sheets web page web page design and so on there is a wizard theme editor that allows you to modify some some elements of the of the design and there are they are categorized in sections so you can see you can modify pretty much tens maybe hundreds of of elements colors lines images and everything you specify in here is translated into css and uploading to the application so let's start with the font click on general and fonts general and i will select this one gotham book this is what we upload up, uploaded two minutes ago and if it is in general it will replace and you can see it's in it instantly changes look and feel you can you can play with uh with borders border around the field you can play drop shadow colors and so on so this this is not part of this of this experiment i just i just show you that you can set many uh, many properties in here let's finish with this uh, let's finish with this font change so that's it and let's do some preview if you go to form save on in the edit mode it is still default for font like like arial or helvetica but if i click on preview it should use the one that you specified that you specified in in the style section and exactly you know the the font is is different which is good but there is still top top line at the at the top of the screen you see welcome logout course catalog i do not want any of this because it is taken from from default vault interface but if you want just use this url and send to people via email or store on intranet page so that people can use it for for uh, re registering to to the courses uh you want to hide this default default banner and this is exactly what tutorial will show you how to do this uh, the tutorial is great in in the field in the area of showing you 
all the possibilities that Vault offers you. So right, right now I show you there is a whole section how to customize look and feel just by clicking and filling entries. Uh, I show you how easily you can create a service uh, that populates data from backend backend data source and now it is just a half page that will show you simply how you can modify how you can how you can use css styles uh, to to overcome to overwrite some default default look and feel and that's it if you it, the, uh, this step will learn you hey this uh, there is this option and in the future in the another application i can i can use it i can i can find it useful so i will copy this very simple style style sheet or, or part part of the style definition just just one class and display none actually we are hiding one display element so i copy i just copy and i should put it into some definition and the tutorial says there is a special form section this one html form section that into which you can type anything directly in html and it will be put into the final markup so i will just do as it says copy exit save preview Tara and you see and, and, uh, and you see top top bar is hidden. There's no more there. No. So next, let me show you what we did. Yeah, this is what we see. And next part is to extending the sheet. So back to finishing the the content of the sheet. So now we now we know the the name email selecting the course but let's get usage for the remaining of the course of the event all these fields and we will put we will show the details details of the course into the page so so, so that registrants so that requester me is sure yes this is what i want to sign in yes this is the course i want to attend date speaker location and let's use for this because it because i will put there like five seven additional fields let put them together into one set into one family and for this i have section section element I, I select section and put it between between select a course and this button CSS definition section. I will name the section as course information. Click on Cogville properties definition. And I said course information. That's it and spread it span it across across the whole width and now it's similar it's like table within table so i can with section you do the same things as in you know top level form so i just put fields entries using drag and drop and let me say well, a course title okay first is course title course title and make it full then it is price price money currency here it is and rename it to cost then it is what's what's in the cost date and time so put date and time date and time well, that was easy. And then there was some lo longer description. So for longer description, let's use multi-line, this one. 
multi-line. The, the description, make it full width and also in properties full, full. Excellent. And then we've got instructor, which is name, name of the people who leads the course and The name is instructor, also full. And then we have image, photo, picture of the of the instructor. Mm -mm -mm, image is here. Image. And height is 60, 60, pic, 60 pixels height. And location let me check and so we'll give the daytime cost instruction picture capacity description location is missing so location is city where the training will will be will be happening and location is just a simple word so single line entry single line entry is location Single line entry is location. Okay, now let's put some some interactivity into the form again. So 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 far this was some some passive uh, no no invention. If if it is in location Chicago, but I am I am located in I am based in New York. It means. I would need some travel travel agreement, some some the, the travel approval to flight from New York to Chicago at this date and then return back. So and it 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 is up to me to decide if I need to travel or to travel to to another city or not. So I will add for uh, some element for yes and no, and it is. Exactly this one. Select yes and no. Name it is tra travel. Is travel required? And options are yes and no. I click on wheel yes and no. That's it. Uh, it takes too much space, so let's make it horizontal to save one line yeah much better and if it is required i have to fill in travel request num approval number that that i did in another application so for this i need another field which is named travel authorization number i just copy paste from from another approval system or for email or something like this uh, okay save and let's preview let's do some preview mm, pretty much okay you can see the section section collects everything all its children into this rectangle area that is that has you know we we know that it belongs together all these course details and i can select the course this works and i can do yes and no and let's let's make it more useful for for end users so I want to show this field travel authorization number only only if this is yes because if travel is required no why would I need to to enter the number so uh, I will show you how you can do this easily in vault let me select let me select this one and 
click on the second icon. First is properties, then is mm, the second is visibility rules, third is duplicate. We use it when, when we duplicate it name to manager name, and cross is delete, delete this element from the form. So I use the second one for the first time. And it is similar to creating mail rule in your mail box, in your mail address. Like if email is from manager, move, move it to folder important or, or something like this. So let me add rule. You can keep default rule one, but I, I, I prefer to rename it. So it is show travel number, for example. And in this part of the form, I will construct the sentence like if then. So is uh, travel authorization number should be shown, show travel authorization number if is travel equals yes. I guess this is the one. Show travel number, show field travel number when this condition is yes, when travel is yes. Apply and close. And let's preview. Yes, show, no, no, yes, no, yes, great. So yeah, so this is exactly what, what, what we want. If it is no, do not, do not bother um, end user with this field. Show it only when, when travel is required. So this is done and let's save, let's save it and let's populate. Now, now we prepared, prepared the area for showing details of selected course. And now we need something to fill all those seven, eight fields. And it will be nothing, nothing less than another, another uh, service. So we will create another service another simple code that will take details for selecting course and fill all these fields this is how i can do this this is how you can do this it is it is related to this field so so naturally i will start here select properties and we did first population in here. This is the service that populates the names, names of the courses, names of the trainings. And now I will go to the events and do some extension on this side. This is for, this is first side for first time when we when we see this. So I will give you some some overview. Uh, if you are a developer, you probably know the names of these events and are, and are familiar with you. For those who do not develop, uh, this is the place. This is the place where you can extend, enhance or enrich the default behavior of your Vault application. So, for example, if you fill in if you fill in something into this field date and just select date and go to another field okay but sometimes sometimes you want to 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 react to make some action based on what what you do where you click if you focus some field or lose focus uh, you want to check you want to do some check if the number is okay in good range and so on in this case, we want to we want to extend the behavior of these 
drop down element in that way that after we select something, after we select a course, we want to do another connect to the backend data source, fetch data and fill all these fill all these fields. And this is done through events, events in this field. And there is a list of events. Do not do not be afraid of this. <laughs> you, you will get familiar with it in your future experimenting with Vault. Right now, right now, all you need to know is that I will use hook or event that is for on item change. This one, because we want to start some action once we do some change in this field so on item change that's it and either you can write down some javascript uh, we are not developers we will not do this instead of this i will say i want to call service and let me configure it the same way as we did the population so this is the one that we created 30 minutes ago we will not use it we have to create a new one so click again, create a new one. And again, what we need, we will go to current application. That's you know, current application. First time, 30 minutes, half an hour ago, we used search to get everything. Like give me all, give me all entries, give me all courses, all trainings. Right now, I need only one row. In the first time, we need everything. We need this list. Right now, we need this data. So first, I will have to uh, provide to the service name or ID of the course. I will say, hey, I am interested in course number two give me all the remaining values so let's let's configure it uh, if i want to fetch only one document one row one record it is retrieve it is not search search is multi retrieve is one so i will select catalog retrieve next now i have to put this selection in here so and the selection is give me only those documents those documents that have this that that uh, that uh, that one document that has the same unique number unique identifier as the one that user just selected and it is in course information uh, select a course this one it means when people, when person on the select a course on the left side, take take the number number two, for example, take the number and search for this row. If you find something okay, go to the uh, step number three. If you find nothing, return empty. So select retrieve by unique identifier click and go to the next phase so this this is selection formula like show me only one row and now in this third it is the same as we did half half hour ago uh, specify which fields i am interested in so in this case, it will be date, time, cost, location, instructor, picture, not capacity, description, yes. So let's fill it from the left side to the right side. For me, it is better to start, to, to, to start on the right. And this, this is the rep representation of the form. All the fields, all the elements that I put into are in here. And what we want to fill is in this section. So I unveil, I open the section, and this is what we put. 
with all the types you see this is money this is day this is time so let's pair it let's wire let's combine into course title i want to put what is named title so in course title it will be title this one it will be title title pair cost is cost and you can see vault is clever that it will not let you pair the values that are not on the same type so you cannot pair string text and time for example so when i change when i select text and cost money it says oh you you cannot pair number and text yeah that's okay because i didn't select cost on the left side cost cost okay date date pair time time pair you see this is this is pretty easy no no coding description into description i want to fill description from this source if target if target field is instructor source field is also instructor and image is picture yeah. next okay so this was re real magic and let's let's check whether i didn't do any any typo or if i fill it correctly click on preview select select and you can see it is populated ah location not so probably i i i didn't store it you can see new hire and the call you you see that the, the, there is some delay like like half a second uh it is because when i select this it is right now in 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 a real time it connects to the source data so to, to the to, to the data source F do selection give me everything from this course and populate it into these fields let me fix location if i didn't miss anything so all, all fields are okay only location probably i missed on item change edit and you can see that is that that you really uh, can modify if you miss something uh okay location i probably filled i probably forget to to pair it location and location on the left side there are also these these signs like this okay signs means okay this fields is paired all, already so it also helps me to find fields that are not paired that are not wired together location location done it is in here okay 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 save preview and this time it sh it should show also the location yeah new york miami also the picture is fetched from 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 the source database so, yeah now that's nice let me show what we on the pdf what i followed and you as well if you do it this this is what we did done done we are right here yeah so and the next 14 and the next goal is at management summit so for now let me let me show you how it works so let's say yeah we are we are more or less we are done right now we have form we created a form that fetches information from backend source and we did it without any any line of code with no javascript no java no html just in, we just put drag and drop field fields on the page so let's save it close now i will save close and show you how how it looks 
when it is published. This is course catalog. This is my application. This exclamation mark means, hey, warning, you made some changes into the draft, but it is still not published as a new version for end users. You have to click on deploy. And now all changes are published, are available for, for end users. So it is deploying. Behind the scenes, behind the scenes, behind the curtain, everything is stored as NSF database, as a good old NSF database. So if you are familiar with, with uh, Nodes and Domino, all the vault up, all the vault data and applications are stored in NSF. And so it is done. Okay, no error. Launch. And this is clicking on link that you can send to to people that are willing to, to register for a course. Let me do some better. I know other fields are mandatory. Mm, intro to Domino, da da da, field, travel, or maybe, yes, travel required, yes. And A, B, one, two, three, submit. S thank you for submitting. And now it is in data view. All the fee. This is the row that I just created. You can see I I didn't fill email manager and so on, but uh, I fill the course info and it is it is in it it is stored into uh, in this view. Close. That's it. If you want and as and I said, it, uh, Domino is behind behind this application so you can show in customize you can show metadata not only these user fields but also fields that you know from Domino database like date of creation date of last update who who created who modified so I can select all these hidden fields okay one, two, three, four, five new, five new uh, fields, five new columns, and I can see it is in stage submitted, created by this user at this time, and last updated by this user at this time, and this is the rest of user data. Okay, so now let's. It is working. It is. It is fine. So let's go to edit and continue with updating the database. Next step, next step is to add the approval, approval phase, ap approval extension. As I said, by just selecting, yeah, I want to go to this new domino, new domino user training and sending submit. Uh, it is not the way how I should register for a course, even if there are, or especially if there is some fee for the course, but there should be some management approval. And managers are busy people and they do not want to go through complex pages, complex forms. They care only, only about few of these fields they want to know the name of who is requesting what the name of the course money cost of the course of course money and date money and date so so that man manager knows okay frank can go to the training next wednesday because there will be no no special project at, at that day so let's create a special page that will contains only a subset of those fields and this page we will show to managers. So when manager will have to approve my trip or my course, my, my, my course registration, he, do, he or she doesn't need to go through all the fields, but, but we will prepare it for, for him or her. Let's create a new page. So on the right side, there is page one. I will create a new page and name is 
Uh, management summary. Management summary done. That's it. Management summary. And let's make this for a minute, spend one minute to make it nice. Image. Now we have the image from the first side. Height was 30. Done. And text. Text is. Uh, Well, I guess management summary could be. Okay, management summary and line. Da, da. So we have similar to, to, to this one. Yeah, there is one more row. You can simply delete row this way. Okay, let's save it. And now I said we want to take only a few fields from this and show on the management page. But I, I will not do it the same way as I did for, for form, for page where people enter. This is for editing, for entering. And now I want just to show it, just to show it in a read-only mode. So for management, I will create a simple text here and, here. and I will write your, we said which fields are interesting, uh, name of the employee, your employee has requested to take this course, the cost, the cost is this, this much, it will be at this date, time is not important, only date, and in this location. So, so he or she, so the manager knows if it is outside city or not. Mm, that's it. I think it would be okay. And now, I will use this rich text editor feature that allows me to put this insert item. I can put fields from the page with the values. So it is your employee and field is name has requested to take course title, which cost this much and it will happen at this date on this location done okay and this done in this location and that's it let's save and because because manager will look at this page after this first form is submitted so all the fields will be will be entered so i will fill name and cost and everything so it will be uh, pop populated correctly if i would display this page first at first it will show empty empty values uh, nothing in it and management is also interested in uh in, in tra travels, as I said, if I work in New York and I want to travel to Chicago, I should let manager manager know, hey, Peter would have to travel to Chicago to take this course and the travel is, all, is uh, approved already. So for this, I will create another field, ta -da -da, text, and I will put the Travel is not required, simply just this. And another one, travel is required and the authorization 
number is and give me the authorization number this one and as as you probably guess now i will have to do something to show only one line at the time because either travel is required or is not required and for this again i will use hide and show rules so travel is not required travel is not required let me create a rule name it uh, not re not required show this field show when travel required is no show no not required if it is not apply and the another will be travel is required show this line when travel is required yes so it is complementary either this one or this one that's easy and let's also allow allow managers to add some notes like i approve i approve with some expect some exceptions or something like this so let put into here some manager commands some management commands if they want to do this let's make it and this one we can make it wider as well safe and we are done that's easy five minutes and we've got a special page that looks nice for management only that pinpoints only the most important important values for them to decide agree approve or deny disagree so after this information manager will at the bottom click i approve i deny and this is the time when we will do this so let's save and let's add some workflow some approval some stages into this application it is done in stages in stages section so i click on stages as as you see we will we will almost go through all these sections in this top top menu so right now it is stages by default every vault application has these stages start submit it and end and is dead end in end you do nothing it's just end of everything you cannot add you cannot add any options or anything special into the end but in start submit it and other and other sections you can play with buttons you can see in start there is submit or cancel in submit it is update or cancel and something like this so right now i will add another stage because as i said it is not just like submit and done there is also approval stage so after so i will click on this plus that will create a new stage and this stage is called approved and another stage denied done and i also i also have to rename rename the buttons so once it is it is submitted once it is submitted i uh, have to rename it it is for manager and manager will not click update he will click approve or deny so update i will rename to approve tada to approve and uh, this one approve and cancel cancel is like i do not want to make any changes i will click on it no cancel and create another that will be named deny deny okay 
and you can see it is in approve deny and how i can rephrase uh, or modify the workflow so from start if i click on submit me and user requester it will go to submit it submit it is for managers and if manager click approve it goes to approved stage if he clicks on deny go to deny stage done okay save and let's let's say let's uh, configure who is manager now now i want to say who who is manager in this simple scenario we will we will mark that manager is either you or everybody in a real in a real scenario manager would be either group from your domino ldap group managers or um, list or entries of specific manager names even you can specify manager for each special user for 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 each concrete user for example my i am peter and my manager is frank so if i submit this request it will automatically assign frank as a approver my colleague heidi has a manager uh, john and once heidi submits the same form it will be routed to john not to my man not to my manager but to her it is all it is all available in vault but we will not do this in this short short demo so let's uh, in stages in stages we we set up stages the workflow and now i have to specify the group of the people that will gather all, all managers so in define roles click on new role manager managers and now this is the place where i can assign i can either assign some users peter you know peter Kunz, that's me i can assign peter but in this case let's assign all authenticated users to to make it quickly so that's it and uh, it guides me to not forget anything so first we define group managers then we assigned users to the managers group and third uh, is definition which of which roles can do in which stage or which phase so you can see those are stages that we defined start submit approve and denied we created five minutes ago approve deny and and this is the the groups the roles and you can see it it makes logic if you go through this start means initiator can create and it is initial there is no need for read update once it is submitted i want that a record owner who submitted it can only read it cannot make any changes because it is submitted already but manager has to do some updates they have to approve deny or make some comments so i have to put this one managers can update it uh, once it is approved it it is it is okay denied so we only change this one so managers can update the document once it is submitted and let me back to stages to stages section and there is some if you go through this there are some small icons if if i hover if i move mouse over some elements you can see small icon of an eye and lock padlock and if you click on it it will change to to, to cross eye eye and open padlock or lost padlock 
and those icons are uh, dedicated for showing or hiding from the page some element from the page or uh, locking and unlocking uh, if it is unlocked it means in this stage i can modify this field and if it is locked the field is displayed but only for read only and cross eye means in this stage do not display do, do not put this on the screen hide it keep it keep it on back end the field is field is there but do not display it in in this stage at all so uh, how it will affect our current situation we created a manager page summary page this one that we look right now and we want to uh, we want to in start page it is okay in start in start um, stage we will show this but once it is submitted we want to show only management page for management this one so it means i will hide this whole first page this this i will hide so in stage two it will skip directly to this view not to this and uh, i said we can do this specification field by field not only hide the whole page but also specific field and since everything almost everything in this section is populated is is fetched pulled from data source so i want to make it read only so it doesn't let end user modify the cost for example if the cost is one thousand dollars and it is fetched from back end if i would keep cost editable for end user he could change he could simply delete the last zero and make it look like it 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 cost only 100 and man manager will see yeah it is for 100 i will approve this so we want to make these fields visible but locked not editable so all i fetch all i pull from backend description as well instructor location picture i cannot edit picture so there is no lock it is smart and this one is what i uh, allow editing travel and so mm, so that's it save and close and let me start now i deploy update yes and now let's check how it how it works with these additional stages with this extended workflow launch okay name is john ah uh, i see you see i can still edit it see it means i did these settings on wrong stage at least you can see now how you you know locate the errors the mistakes and how you can fix it you saw hey i did put locks on the fields and they should not be editable they should be read only so i go to stages and i modify it in in uh, the stage either approved or submitted or some special stage i need to lock it here in in initial 
form filling in this first stage i want to lock it so i did it correctly but on different different stage this one this one location okay save well let's check if i fixed it close deploy i have to deploy because it's in draft it's not in in publicly accessible application it takes a few minutes now it is published close launch Ah, now I set it on correct stage on the first stage and you can see this is great. The, the, this is good. Gray out, great out. And John, uh, da, da, da. Sorry, John, select a course, this one. It is populated and I cannot modify. I can modify only this one. Yes, no. And this field, which is correct. So I cannot modify price, time, anything. This is great. So let's say this time it is not. Manager is Mary and submit. Now close this one and let's go to view data and check how it is stored in the database. Yeah, this is this one. John Mary, this one. And stage submitted you you recall submitted is the first stage and from submitted manager manager can move it to either approved stage or or denied stage and we specified who who is manager in a re, in a in a real world only for example three or four managers could do what i do right now uh, but in this test we said everybody is manager so if i click in this stage you see it shows not the form as we filled it but it shows form in another way same fields but different presentation and manager said okay it is john domino vault okay travel is not required i I approve and click on approve. If I close this, you see it is now in stage approved. And if I would go this way, mm, there is some project delay delay and I cannot let you to go to, to Chicago. I deny this request. It is in it is in wrong date approved denied and from from maybe from denied it can later goes to uh back to start and selecting for example a different date when i am not occupied and so on so you can play with these stages and and workflow workflow transition from stage to stage in in the vault application and at the very end because we are we have like seven seven ten minutes to to finish this demonstration and place for questions uh i will show you how you can notify via email managers or someone in in workflow uh, to to do some action to do some to do some to do to to make some some activity because once i submit it right now it is, it, it is right now my manager heidi or john will not get notified in any way i clicked on this and show i approve or deny but it would be much better if if my manager could receive email notification and this is how you can do it in vault again no coding just assembling so I am editing the application again.
and go to stages because stages is about workflow and it should be here and okay what i want to do once i as a requester i as a petter click on submit on this button click on submit i want to move it to to next stage for sure but plus i want to add another action and the action is send email so i click on this button next stage click on cogwheel and there is submit and activities there is no activities click to create one i can call service assign users this is assign specific manager for example but i said we want to notify people so send email so I click send email and what it prepares for me is email like you know from notes client outlook or any other messaging client there is two cc bcc subject and uh, body of the email and you can put into this email form either static values or some dynamically calculated so let's start Two will be manager i want to send it to manager so it will be to manager email and you will see how it is clever it will offer me only those fields that has type email it it shows me only email type fields so i want to say to manager email and as cc email to to requester so that i know yes it is in process and this manager is take care of this and email will be in cc so two is manager i as a requester am uh, on copy and let's make some some subject and subject is here i will type value and i can again select a value from some, some field but in this star in this case i want to mix it i want to uh, i want to combine static text and fields and it will be name of the person so name like petter is requesting to attend the course name sorry course name this one so manager instantly from the subject description c petter is uh, is trying to go to this call request thing this one and in the body i can do the same that we did when we created management summary page dear manager name dear manager name your employee and name your employee wants to visit uh, this course it costs this one and uh please approve or reject and link to the link to this form this one link to this form and after uh, this these you know in the, in this curly brackets it will be populated by real manager name it will be like dear Heidi your employee Petra wants to visit domino administration course it cost one thousand dollars please approve or reject and link is and this link will leads to to this url to this url it will be the same like clicking clicking on the document in this view so let me finish okay done done and right now once i click submit email will be routed to manager with with the text and the calculated values that i put into the in, in into the request so i can save 
and close. This was the last part. Not the last part of the PDF, because if I go to PDF, we are right, right, slightly behind the behind the uh, half, behind fifty percent. This is what we did: save, test, show stages, and yeah. And uh, there are two things that are also two areas that are in uh, in the PDF that we will not do today. It was not intended to, to, to do everything in hour and a half, but I will show you what you can what you can do uh, because I did it in advance this one. You will in the following sections of PDF tutorial, you will extend the form by checking whether whether there are still available seats or or not so if i select this course it will check yeah out of 25 seats there are two occupied and 23 left and if if it is fully fully occupied i would see course is full you you cannot register so this is what what you what the rest of the tutorial contains and also and the lift and the another extension is this one when you show list of courses not in drop down but in a table in a table because in drop down you could see only only one uh, one field only only name but i want to select from from location and date as well so i created a table that is populated from the same data i can I, I can have more more attributes and if i click it it populates it populates the the rest of the screen as well so the last part of the tutorial shows you how to add a table into the page and make table to act as a selector what will be displayed on the rest of the page this is important because this this paradigm or this pattern is used in many applications in many vault applications to put some to put some information to table and once i click it will react and rephrase rearrange show different information on the rest of the table so you can use this tutorial as a entry for 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 this working with uh, tables area i said we are finished so let's back up the application deploy what we did course catalog and at the beginning i show you how you can easily import and the same way import application and the same way you can do export if you click on this one export it will create you it will create for you dot vault course catalog dot vault and uh, this this you can transfer from server to server so you can transfer application from sandbox to your company to your company vault deployment and on the, and if you want to import you simply choose this big button import an application select what we just exported it's in downloads it is this one open i want to deploy and all the data create and voila it will import the application into into uh, another instance you will see course catalog course catalog those are two instances of the same application so i can now play with this one so that's what the summary what i show you and my last slide is uh, this one what i show you right now is uh, recorded is is recorded in english but if if it is okay for you if you do not fully understand english you can still follow the the movements of the screen uh, a product manager martin lechleider created this video on this url 
it's 45 minutes so he he goes quickly more more quicker than i do and marty on this 45 minutes follow the whole follow the the whole tutorial he created so if you are stuck somewhere and for example you don't know what exactly is done on this page 21 you can either go through this video we are recording right now or click on this and follow follow the video on on youtube so thank you for watching and now place for questions do we have some done Piotr. yeah good <laughs> Спасибо вам огромное за интересный workshop. Даже я, который не из совершенно другого мира, из организации, я поняла все, что просто прекрасно. Я могла понять все, даже я. Теперь я знаю все. Спасибо. And у нас есть вопрос первый. Читает ли данные uh, сейчас данные права, которые вы дали для участников, this, uh, uh, после редактирования приложения uh, дать это же другому коллеге, который, например, зарегистрируется завтра? Могут они продолжить вдвоем работать над документом? Like they share the rights or distribute. Yeah, 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 yeah. If 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 it is yeah. if multiple people can work yeah, on the same yes. application. Приложением. Mm -hmm. Access. Design. And I can say who can edit who can design develop this application in addition to me besides me so me yeah as i'm owner and if i if i create for example uh roles and i say designers and in designers designers i think i guess what is what uh better Let's, I know this one. I know Petr Mihula, so I guess he will not complain. This one. And save. And in design, I will say designers can edit. And save. And right now, this guy, Petr Mihula, can edit application the same way as, as I do. So we, we too can, can design... Uh, independently the the application if this is the question if the question was if you can use this demo environment not only today but next week or next month yes this environment is here for you to test not only today but in the future as well mm -hmm. <laughs> А вы слышите перевод, да? Все хорошо? На всякий случай. No, I no, yeah, yeah it's. No. You That's don't it. listen a translation now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, отлично. Значит, перевод идет. I hear you loud and and just as and you know a silent voice of translator. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Just yeah. Next, next question, please. Ah, uh, Volt может авторизовать пользователей по ID. Authorize the users uh, on the ID. Uh, yeah, Volt. ID, yeah, Volt is on Domino. Volt runs on Domino. So, if you install it in in your environment on your Domino, people will log into Domino the same way as they log to email, for example, to iNotes or Verse, In, uh, you can decide if you will open the application for anonymous access. Because for internal employees, you would require that people has to be logged in and you know that it is Frank, that this is Frank, this is Mary. But if you want to open a registration for public, for anybody outside the company, you can mark the application open for anonymous, 
and then anybody without login can can create and fill the form and for those anonymous people you do not need license for sure yeah because they are they are outside company they are anonymous спасибо и заключительный вопрос при подключении внешних источников каких-либо внешних источников данных как происходит авторизация yeah uh, we use we, we let me show edit we use uh, access through rest 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 protocol and uh, let me show you drop down for example this one create a new i will do the same as i did at the very beginning i'm choosing service it could be domino it could be another vault application but it could be also generic url any url and you can specify the way you authenticate so it can be username and password it could be cookies it could be special headers with uh with some uh, tokens or something like this let me show you quick one minute external external integration this one this is external and list of employees this url you know copy i will go to the vault application right right this one put url okay now it fetches from the external source it could be salesforce it could be in our company we use integration between vault and internal crm so it can fetch all the list of customers contacts and so on so it, it fetches okay next and i will fill into this drop down name not salary name name from 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 the external source tada tada and preview this one left takes data from vault application on the same server right takes data from internet from outside and if this one needs either uh, username password or cookie or some single sign on like we have in in our crm it it can be done more moreover admins can create these um, let's say links or connectivities that are used many often in the company for example integration with crm they can prepare this integration and prepare it once and it can be then used by vault application designers much more easily they just select connect to my crm and they do not need to fetch these these uh, application from the pages yeah so yeah you you can you can connect to external resources with and without authentication